everybody. It's really great to see you. I've been missing you at the library. I'm Miss Lynn and we are going to do our rhyme time for babies and onesies today. I've got my friend here. This is Miss Kayla. Kayla is going to help me to show you what to do with your babies or your onesies which might be running around and that's totally fine during this story time as we go along. Are you ready? Let's begin. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, let's have some fun. Everybody tap your toes, tap your toes, tap your toes. Everybody tap your toes, let's have some fun. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, now our song is done. And I always say you wave hello whatever way you like. You can wave like this, you can wave like this, you can wave like this. Any wave is a good wave. Today's support for early literacy is reading. Reading is the number one thing that you can do to help your child's early literacy. Reading gives us a chance to talk with our children. It gives us a chance to use new words that they don't know, and it gives us time to model. Oh, here's a favorite, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. We identify our body parts with this song but I also have a tricky second verse that's not quite what you're used to. So we're going to point to our heads, our shoulders, our knees, and our toes. And then our surprise, feet, tummies, arms, and chins. Let's do it. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now here's the tricky part. Feet, tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Feet, tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins, eyes and ears and mouth and chins. Feet, tummies, arms and chins, arms and chins. Did you do it? I think I messed up. I think I said chins instead of shins. Sometimes that happens. Oh, this is really fun. Some babies like lifting, some babies don't. But this is a time for you to get a workout if your baby likes some lifts. If your baby does not like to be lifted, you can just raise their arms or even their feet if they're sitting in your lap. If they're laying down, it's even easier to raise arms or feet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Up, up, up. Here we go. Down, down, down. Here we go. Backwards and forwards, and here we go round and round. This movement rhyme is really good for young babies because it helps them to keep their head in line with their torso. It's a really important skill for development. And if you have a onesie, you can stand up and you can really go up and down and all around. It's a lot of fun and a way to incorporate movement into your day. I always love a finger play. This one I really like because it's a larger motion finger play. It's not just for little fingers, but it's for whole hands. And it's about a lot of the houses that we see out and about in the spring. We're gonna do a nest, we're gonna do a hive, we're gonna do a hole, and we're gonna do a house. Here's our rhyme. Here is a nest for Robin. Here is a hive for B. Here is a hole for Buddy. And here is a house for me. Let's do it again. I'll show you the baby doing it. Here is a nest for Robin. Here is a hive for B. Here is a hole for Buddy. And here is a house for me. All right. Good job. Oh, we always try to work in a little bit 
of baby sign. Baby sign can be really useful to use with your small children when they don't yet have the ability to vocalize, to say the words they want. They might be making sounds, but they aren't necessarily things you understand. Sometimes they're much more capable of doing motions and baby sign can help them to be able to communicate and bridges some frustration. This sign is a sign for sleep, sleep, sleep. That's a pretty good one to know. It's time for sleep. Try to work that into your routine this evening. Oh, I like this one. This one has a lot of really fun words to say. It's got a little tickle, so tickle gently. Tickle in the way that your child likes tickling, because not all children like to be tickled, but they all like to be cuddled, and they all like some contact with adult, their adult person. Here's our tickle rhyme. Tickle rhymes lets us say a lot of really fun words and let you have a little fun with your child. You know what your child likes. So if they don't like to be tickled too much, you could just pat their hands. Here it goes. Pizza, pizza, pumpernickel. My little honey's gonna get a tickle. One for your nose, and one for your toes, and one for your belly where the tasty food goes. Did that get a smile? It does usually. Ah, oh, my baby didn't smile. Oh, are you ready for our book? I've got a book for you today. It's a really fun book. I'm going to let my baby sit right here behind me on the chair for a minute. And this book is called Thank You Bees, and it's by Tony Yuli. The pictures are gorgeous. They're large and very eye-catching and colorful. Sun gives us light. Oh, look at the sun. Do you see? It's looking out the window. I like the curtains. Thank you, son. Is this where our little boy was? He was looking out this window. <gasps> Bees give us honey. Yum, yum. Honey is so sweet. Thank you, bees. Oh, look at all the bees. How many bees are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven bees. They're buzzing all around the flowers because flowers help them make honey. Ooh, sheep give us wool. Oh, look at his woolly hat. It's made from yarn, which is made from sheep, sheep wool. And his woolly sweater looks just like the sheep. What does the sheep say? That's all right. Bah. Thank you, sheep. They give the sheep a haircut so they can make the wool for the yarn. And it looks like they gave the little sheep a coat. Oh, clouds give us rain. It rained here today and the flowers really like it. Clouds give us rain. Does the little boy look happy? Oh, I think so. Thank you, clouds. I bet that's what the flowers say because they really need rain. It gives them a drink. Trees give us wood. This little boy is in his tree house and it's made of wood. The tree is made of wood. The fence is made of wood. And here's the little birdie in a little house made of wood. Trees give us wood. So we say, thank you trees. Look, he's taking care and planting a new little tree. Look, the bird has a little twig. Dirt gives us plants. Ooh, look at these. They look like peas. There are a lot of them on there. What color are the peas? 
That's right, they're green. He's having a carrot. A carrot is also a plant that comes from the dirt. Thank you, dirt. Oh, you see these? They live in the dirt too. They're earthworms. Earth gives us our home. Oh, look at this peaceful home. Look at the owl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the eggs in the nest. All of our home, the bees, the trees, the birds, all of us live in our home called the earth. Thank you, earth. And we're going to leave our little boy at the window. Good night. And that's our book, Thank You Bees, by Tony Yuli. Thank you for reading that book with me. Oh, let's work on some opposites. I really like our opposites. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. And this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. And this is slow. Slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. And this is no, no, no. Did you get them? All the opposites? Good job. Oh, have you ever been to a farm? I'm a farm girl. I grew up where there are lots of farms and there are lots of fun animals on the farm. And I have some friends who have joined me from the farm. You might recognize some of them. We're going to sing a song called Old McDonald. A lot of people know this song. And my friends are going to help me out. And here's my first friend. <gasps> Who's this friend? He's a, that's right, he's a cow. All right, let's sing our song. And the cow's going to help us out. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. What does he say? With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here moo there, moo everywhere, moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, let me see. And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here quack there, quack everywhere, quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, a lamb, it's a baby sheep. E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here, ba, there, ba, everywhere, a ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, what is it? Is it a dog? A dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a rup rup here and a rup rup there, here, rup there, rup everywhere, rup rup. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, what is, what is it? It's a pig! A pig, E-I-E-I-O, with a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, oh, what is that? It's a E-I-E-I-O, with a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here meow there, meow everywhere, meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, it's a rooster. A rooster's a kind of chicken, it's a boy chicken. E-I-E-I-O, with a cock a doo doo, -doo here and a cock a doo doo, -doo there, here a cock a doo doo, -doo there a cock a doo doo, -doo everywhere a cock a doo doo, -doo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Did you know all those animals? 
if you were here, you know what I'd, I'd be handing you are my little puppets so you could play with them. They're so much fun. All right. Bye-bye, rooster. Bye-bye, piggy. You can say oink, oink, too. Did you know that in other countries, that there are other languages, there are different sounds for animals than the ones we use in English? And even in English, some people make realistic sounds and some people make other sounds. You use the animal sounds that you like. Bye-bye, oh, sheep. Oh, there was our duck. I forgot to say bye. And I have my puppy, my doggy, and my cow. Goodbye. We're going to take them back to the farm. Oh, I love this one. A lot of people don't think about using I'm a little teapot with littles because they're little. They don't do their arms that much, but you know what? We can do it. And again, we have the chance to tip them left and right so that they can keep their head in line. And that really helps out their balance and all kinds of other things. So here we go. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my stout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Other side. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Yay, good job. Oh, here's our fun lift. Lifts are always fun. Oh my goodness, we love them. But occasionally your baby might not be in the mood for a lift. They, even though we think they're always fun, sometimes they aren't always in the mood. So if they're not, you can just gently bounce them along. But you can also give as much or as little lift as you want. We sing through as we're bouncing, and then when we blast off, we can go up in the air. Here we go. We're flying to the moon. We're flying to the moon. Oh, what an adventure. We're flying to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Let's do it again. We're flying to the moon. We're flying to the moon. Oh, what an adventure. We're flying to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! You have some flying babies? All our babies are flying. Okay. Oh. Now, you might have a couple, you I'm sure can use two pencils or anything that resembles our rhythm sticks you can use today. Our babies can't really do a lot with rhythm sticks, we think, but you know what? They really can. I really like our particular rhythm sticks. They've got rounded edges, uh, really good for gumming, even though we wipe them all the time. Um, but you can hold them with their hands. You can let them hold them as they will. Even if they're not tapping along or doing what we're doing, just the fact that they're holding them, they will try to mimic more than you think. And also, it's really good for their motor skills, for them to just play along with them while we're singing. So we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to work on tapping. We're going to work on tapping the floor. And we're going to work on rubbing. I'm going to put my baby over here and just demonstrate myself, if that's OK. Here we go. This is the way we tap our sticks, tap our sticks, tap our sticks. This is the way we tap our sticks so early in the morning. We're gonna rub now. This is the way we rub our sticks, rub our sticks, rub our sticks. This is the way we rub our sticks so early in the morning. Now we're gonna tap the floor. This is the way we tap the floor, tap the floor, tap the floor. This is the way we tap the floor so early in the morning. Good job, yay! Now, letting your baby do whatever they want to do with the sticks and the sound, we're going to rhythmically sing our ABC song. Remember to keep our L, M, N, O, P just as slow as the rest of them. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, 
W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! I bet a lot of you guys are singing already. Oh, let's sing and tap one more time. So we're going to clap. We're going to tap in the air. And we're going to tap on the floor. Up high, down low. Let's do it. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. Now we're going to go left and right. Tap your sticks to the left with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the left with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right with the one, two, three. Good job! All right. <clears throat> it's really important to read with your child. Again, the language in books, the language in books differs from about 30% from the language that they just hear every day. So books are a really great way to increase their vocabulary and enrich their listening. Oh, if you have some soap at home and a pipe cleaner or a little piece of wire, you can make a bubble blower too. Kids love bubbles. What's great about bubbles? is they're good for fine motor skills, they're good for eye tracking for very small babies, they're easy, easy, easy things to do that help their development in so many ways. They're a way, especially with preschoolers, as your child gets older, to teach gentle, because these bubbles, when they're, they're these particular types, you can actually catch them if you're really gentle. Kids just love bubbles, and they're re you can entertain them for 30 minutes. They will not get sick of bubbles, believe it or not. If you don't have the things to do them outside of the bath, bubble bath or a little bit of shampoo and some water, that works too. These bubbles particularly have corn syrup and glycerin in them, so it makes them really hang in there whenever you're playing. You should have gotten your census documents in the mail right now and as we're at home it's no better time than to, now to jump online and uh, make sure that everybody in your family's counted. Babies that are born as late as April of this year need to be counted on our census. It's one of the ways that you Make sure that you're represented in the political system as well as that your um, services like the library are funded. Oh, it's time to go. It's time to go already. This passed a lot faster than I thought it would. We're going to wave goodbye. We're going to tickle the clouds and tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time's over, so let's wave bye-bye. Bye-bye, friends. I hope to see you soon.